Pretty much I call it the umbrella because, you know, you under the umbrella, you get certain privileges, you know, and if you're not under that umbrella, you pretty much get rained on and you just sit back and watch the show. Dang. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, it's definitely an umbrella. Well, as far as, I guess, quote unquote, secular music, an umbrella isn't typical, isn't nothing, not new, I guess. Um. Umbrella in the second music, for example, maybe um, you a local artist in, uh, let's say, Illinois or in your city, there may be certain people who can book shows. So, unless you, you know, you cool with them or you do things for them, then you under that umbrella and you can pretty much get your shows with them and they'll make sure you get other shows with other people that they know. But if you're not under the umbrella, then they'll pretty much, you know, they'll, they'll smile at you, but they won't really do no real business with you. And I'm guessing in the kingdom realm, in kingdom music, it's not supposed to be like that, right? It's, right. it's open, sure. you know, it's open, and you work with any and everybody. You don't really judge people based on social status, you know, things like that. Right, but right. during my time in the game, which has been about probably a year, and there's somebody that just underground, not even on the top level, I know this is definitely an umbrella, so that's why I say it's certain people where you only can network with them and jump through they certain hoops in order for you to maybe do songs with them or do any other type of business with them, whether it's financial or not. And if you're not under that umbrella or cool with anybody under that umbrella, then you really won't get too much, too much love in the game, I guess. What were some of your own personal experiences? Like, anybody like so they diss you, like low key, anything like that? This was um it was real non-verbal comments, things like that, you know. Uh, you may shake your hand but won't really look you in your eye for real. Um a lot of things that I experienced, uh when they don't know who you are, they won't really talk to you like that. But if you do good on your show, then they all in your face like, oh, you do great, you do this and that, I want to work with you, woo -woo. and then you try to get in contact with them and you may not hear from them again, you know, but they'll keep inviting you to their show, they'll keep working and they stuff to you, things like that, and they want you to support them, but they may not necessarily support you back. Um, one thing that always happened that I never forget, Pierre was there, uh, Cypher, where I got this nah. the Cypher, you know what I mean? Uh, I, they was looking for artists, raised my hand to go up, but they didn't pick me, they skipped over me, they picked somebody that they knew. So, that was the first, that was my first time experiencing the Umbrella. Uh, and like I said, as far as they'll invite you to their shows, they want you to come to their shows and always, you know, pay to get in their shows, pay for their music, things like that. But they may not necessarily get uh, you that same feedback. You know, they may not support your music. They may not buy to your music. They may not come at your shows. Things like that. So that's a lot of things I experience. Okay, and um, how would you explain that um, if somebody was on my set of D rap, would you see that with somebody that you know? Did they um, act funny towards you when they reached to the next level, or was it was you cool? Did they act funny to me? They didn't act funny towards me. I'm not gonna say that. Uh, what I will say is, um, the people that was under the umbrella, they would show them more love than they showed me, even though I was there supporting them first, before the umbrella support. So, and let me explain the list too. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> what it was, I broke down the Kingdom rappers in categories. I said A list, B list, C list, and D list. A-list is major label, you at the top of the game, you making money, you signed to, you know, you getting show, you getting TV shows, video, blah, blah, like that. You know, I ain't going to say no names, they told me I say names. Um, B-level, um, you intermediate, you know, you, you got a fan base, you making a name for yourself, but you may not be as high as A-level, but, okay. C-level, you independent, you local, you know what I mean? Um, you got a small fan base, not too much. You know, you, you're working your way up, but you're not there yet. 
and D level, which is me, you just another person that rap. <laughs> you know what I mean? You just somebody that rap, you know, you still working your way up, still trying to learn the game, beginner level. So you know what I mean? So D list beginner, intermediate, advanced, then major label. If I break it down in secular terms, an A lister would be somebody like Kendrick Lamar. A B lister would be somebody like Big Crick. You know what I mean? Because he don't get as much exposure as Kendrick, but he still got a big enough fan base to right, right. hold his own. Right. A C lister would be somebody like, um, you probably don't know him, Starleto. You know what I mean? He, he, he got a name for himself in his hometown, yeah, he but he's still not as hot. You know what I mean? Yeah, I heard him. I, heard, I just heard of him like last week. Right. And a D lister would be, um, I'm just going that. Raw Reese. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, let's keep it real, you know what I mean? Like, everybody in the city know him, you know what I mean? He got a few people here and there, but after that, you know, yeah, that's pretty much it, you know what I mean? Right, right. Somebody local, you know what I mean? And that's not, it ain't nothing wrong with being D-list, I'm D-list. <laughs> so, ain't nothing wrong with it, so I broke it down like that. The thing that about Kingdom Music, though, it's easier to climb up them lists than it is a set. It's a, it's a lot easy. It's easier to build a fan base in King music. It's a lot easier to get your name out there because the market is a lot smaller. But because it's smaller, it makes it an umbrella. So only certain people can get that market. You feel what I'm saying? So what the, a lot of people do when they build an umbrella where they say, okay, we only gonna have these artists under this umbrella. We only gonna network with each other. When we have shows, we only gonna support each other at these shows. We're not gonna we'll invite people, but we're not gonna put them on the bill or invite anybody else or do anything like that. Only the people on the umbrella get the shows, they get the events, they get the you know invites and things like that. And the people outside the umbrella, they can just watch us. You know what I mean? So they the umbrella never really supports new artists that's trying to come up, you know what I mean? They never really support that D-list and try to bring them in, you know what I mean? They kind of just, they, they just push their music towards a record and try to work with it. It's like that. So, that's pretty much good. And um, like I said, like he said, I've seen it, and at the same time, I also experienced it as well, because, like, you would never expect somebody you would like you would literally not expect somebody that would give you props but for some reason don't don't even drop jewels on them. like you would expect them to be like you know what you got skill you know what I'm saying let me talk to you for a minute like a good conversation never hurts anybody like you know you've been in the game longer than I have I would you know drop some jewels on your boy I mean something that you learned that I could take in Stuff like that, man. Stuff like that. I'm not saying that these folks, that these folks, that's part of the umbrella, is evil and corrupt. But at the same time, it's like it, 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 it is some. It's, it, 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 it is kind of like a game. It's like the only way you can really, literally get in the game is you gotta go through some stuff. Me and Dre, we been in the game for been in the game for a long time. Well, not long, like, like five years long, but we we every long day, enough. yeah, every day <laughs> we count. Well, you know what I'm saying? We seen a lot of great events that be popping off in St. Louis, and even on our side of the river, number of great events. And there's time we support them like crazy, whether it's on our Facebook page and we sharing their flyers and their promote uh, their pictures and be like, you know, support the kingdom. All you can do do it too. Take it up and not just serve people game. under the umbrella that's not don't have that mentality. They just dirt all oh, networking skills. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and there's some that will they will they will, you know, help out in one way or another. But at the same time, it, you know, this umbrella is kind of like a, a disadvantage to folks outside of it. Because, you know, there's folks getting rained on that would like to be under the, under the shade, under the umbrella. Or they, some folks you umbrella to you to cover up the, cover up in the heat. Some of us don't like to get them tans that long, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and really, because what it is, um, like, here's one experience I had. There was a person um, 
that I support. All right, I used to support their music, you know what I mean? And, uh, but they never really supported my music. Okay, never really. When they saw me perform, and they saw the way I can engage in the crowd, then they wanted to work, you know what I mean? When I was patient enough to still be like, well, all right, then, let's see what we talking, you know, all that, the communication fell off. So it kind of showed me that they wasn't as serious as they thought about it. But see, when I met Pierre, it wasn't like that. You know what I mean? It wasn't, when I first came to Pierre, yo, I liked her, I liked Peter song. He came to me. I like hard for the Lord. Hey, I got an idea for a song, because we got two different styles, but I think they can work together. Cool, and, and it built from there. It wasn't, you know, I had to support his music first to show that, you know, I'm, I'm about that life. And then when he see it, he do some tests, like, all right, then let's see if he come to my show. He ain't come to my show, all right, he must not really be about that. Huh, he don't put enough Christian statuses up. Hmm, he must not be about that life, you know what I mean? <laughs> he not a part of a ministry. Hmm, he must not be a part of, you know what I mean? It's almost like a screening process that you have to go through. And if you don't make that screening process, you can't go under the umbrella. And since you are under the umbrella, you can get a flyer. You can come and support. You can even pay the fee to come in and watch us. You know what I mean? You can even do that. And then after we pay the fee, I'm gonna perform the same song over. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, then I want you to buy my T-shirt. Then I want you to buy my wristband. Then I want you to buy this. And I want you to buy that. Then I want you to come to my boy show tomorrow. I'm gonna perform the same thing over and over again. I want you to keep supporting me, but I'm not gonna really support you because. According to the screening process, hey, you, you didn't quite make the cut. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so in the game. <laughs> so, they basically hustling you. Yeah, it's, 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 and that's how you feel. And then, as somebody, you know, and I know this because I ain't gonna say I was all the way deep in the game before I did Christian rap, but I was smart enough and to know when you had to jump through hoops to get where you gotta go. And I see the same thing here. You know what I mean? I see the same, I see the same pattern, but the thing is, it's, it's not as blatant in your face. It's real, real chill. You know what I mean? Real, real Baptist. <laughs> <laughs> real black church. Right. You know what I mean? Like, when like every time. Programs. Like, yeah, it was like every time I went through a situation like that, I would sit back and tell myself, man, this is exactly like someone went through a church with this person. Mm. I had to jump through these hoops just to get this person so called respect because of their title. It's the same thing. <laughs> what do you do to find that alphabetical letter without missing nobody? And when you do climb the ladder, the alphabetical letter from BC or whatever, how do you keep supporting the other arts that's beneath you without trying to integrate them? Go first, or basically simple, you want to rise to the top, sometimes you got to be a little bit careful and there's going to be a lot of, a little bit of some sacrifice, and I'm not talking about folks' family dying and nothing like that, like, you got to really put in work, because, like I said, we've been in the game for a while, and we've seen cats that barely started off with just a song, and then all of a sudden they got an imprint. Like we saw cats that, you know what I'm saying, got two songs and they yeah, end up with two albums already under their belt. You know what I'm saying? And to get from level B to level C, yes, it might have to involve a lot of networking and, and a lot of grinding. You know, same way to go from C to B. It's like, like when Dre said, you gotta know somebody from up there that is just like a bridge between between the levels. So if there's a if there's that bridge between two levels, chances are if you know if you you know where the bridge is, you the chances are you can get across get across from one level to the next level or that ladder to get from one level to the next level. So yes, networking does have to be involved. But at the same time we we as Christian artists, kingdom artists, we we still got a, um, a biblical standard to, 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 to be upon. Like, we can't look at our brother who is rapping differently than you 
and be like, I would never work with that dude because he rapped different than I, I do. Or what he ain't rapping about is different from what I rap about. Oh, I would not work with this sister because she's female. All that stuff is like, you know you. And sometimes you gotta you gotta be able to be a blessing by saying, hey, the music. And if that's all you can do, that's good. You don't have to do too much. And as far as folks that's coming that's just coming into the game or somewhat been in the game but yet not, not been much heard of, like, don't be afraid to stick your hand out and say, hey, let me help you. Or shake their hands and be like you did great, keep going. Cause we we have seen a young a young rapper that's been doing this for years and yet and then all of a sudden get signed to a Christian label. Like literally in our face. Like we seen stuff seen a dude go from grinding on their own to somebody saying, hey, I wanna help you do help you with your stuff. All you have to do is the music. I don't like I don't know all the deep full details of their conversation, but we seen it like we seen folks being they grind and they work and they putting their stuff out, whether it is on their own or they got somebody in you know blessing them to hook up with a nice fly or uh, pictures or they seeds and all that stuff. We seen we seen that stuff, so it is possible to do it right the right way. It is possible. Just gotta be able to know what it is, what to do. Otherwise, you can be trying, trying to climb a ladder, trying to kick folks off the ladder, just trying to get to the top. And, and believe it or not, that's pop. That is also possible as well. <clears throat> Sermon, I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, the song, uh, and humbleness, you know. Um, and like I said, I think it's okay to be the bridge. You know what I mean? It's okay to be the bridge. I think when you be the bridge, um, I think it keeps you humble when you still associate yourself with D-listing. You know, showing that you still got a healthy hand. Right. But at the same time, it's okay to associate yourself with a uh, C-listers to kind of show that you want to upgrade. So I think it's I think uh, the best way to do it, um, like I say, stick to your grind, stick to what you know best, and um, if you find yourself running the umbrella, just try not to. Show off those characteristics that you know keeps others from coming up also. Or at least you know, it's all about helping others. You know what I mean? I'm not saying you gotta support every artist that puts something in your hand because right. some people may not be your type of style. Right. But you know, um, don't be afraid to show support and don't show it to just your crew. I think that's really the main thing that other artists that need support also. And that's the whole thing about the kingdom music. Supposed to be different from the second. The second, is, you know, quote unquote, is, is just me, myself, and my squad. Whereas, you know, with the kingdom, so we, we support each other. We support all. We don't be stumbling blocks, but at the same time, we support each other. So, right. I think a lot has to do with just discernment and humble. Just discern yourself as you upgrade to that next level. Because, you know, what they say, uh, what is a high level more demons or something like that? High level more devils? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? So that's where the discernment comes in. But when you associate with yourself with those on the lower status, you know, they bring that humble a lot. So I think a lot of that lies to those two.